In today's video, we're going to tackle a topic that might seem a bit daunting, but is incredibly important for your health and well being understanding medication package inserts. If you've ever picked up a prescription or bought an over the counter medication, you've likely encountered one of these lengthy documents filled with small print. Most people don't read them and they quickly find their way to the trash, but I promise they contain important and helpful information that shouldn't be overlooked. You might be thinking, why can't I trust what my doctor tells me about my medication? Look, you can, and you can also be a little skeptical and learn about your medicines yourself. Reading package inserts helps you be more involved in your healthcare. It lets you double check information, recognize side effects, know about possible drug interactions, and keeps you just overall informed about the medicine you're taking. By understanding your medications, you'll be better at talking with your doctor and making smarter choices about your health. So hopefully I've convinced you that understanding your package insert is important. So without further ado, let's take a look at some package inserts and see what we can learn from them. First, let's dive into the section called indications. This part of the package insert explains the specific health issues or symptoms that the medicine is designed to treat or prevent. Understanding the indications ensures that you're using the medicine correctly and for the right purpose. For instance, when we examine the package insert for Abilify, we find that one of its primary uses is to help people who have schizophrenia. On the other hand, if we take a look at Advil, we see that it is meant to provide relief for mild to moderate pain, such as headaches, toothaches, or muscle aches. By knowing the indications for each medication, you can be confident that you are using the medicine for your specific health concern. Next, let's explore contraindications. This part tells you when you shouldn't take a medicine because it might be unsafe or even harmful. It's really important to know if any contraindications apply to you so you don't put your health at risk. For instance, with Abilify, there's just one contraindication. If you're allergic, you shouldn't take it. When we look at Advil, the package insert mentions that it's not safe for people who have pain after heart surgery, so they shouldn't take it either. By understanding contraindications, you can make sure you're using your medicines safely. Now let's talk about dosage. This section tells you how much medicine you should take, how often, and for how long. It's important to follow these instructions so the medicine works properly and to reduce the chance of side effects. For instance, with Abilify, adults who have schizophrenia usually take 10 to 15 milligrams each day, but they should never take more than 30 milligrams daily. When they start taking this medicine, it's recommended to begin with 10 to 15 milligrams. For Advil, adults can take 400 milligrams every four to six hours to help with mild to moderate pain, but it's better to use the smallest amount that works. Also, you shouldn't take more than 3,200 milligrams of Advil in one day. By paying attention to dosage, you can use medicines safely and effectively. The next section we'll focus on is administration. This part explains the right way to take or use your medicine. Taking it the right way is important for it to work well and keep you safe. There are many ways to take medicine, by mouth, like swallowing a pill or drinking liquid, and the package insert will tell you how much to take and if you should eat when taking it. For example, Abilify can be taken with or without food. Another way to take a medication is on your skin, like creams or ointments. You'll learn where on your body to put the medicine, how much to use, and how often to apply it to avoid skin issues. You can also receive medication through a shot, like into your muscle, under the skin, or into a vein. The insert tells you how much medicine to inject, how often, and where on your body to inject it. Abilify injections, for example, should go into the muscle, not in a vein or under the skin. There are other ways to take medications like patches, eye drops, etc. So make sure to follow these directions carefully to ensure the medicine works properly and to help avoid any problems or side effects. Now let's take a look at precautions. These are warnings or instructions to avoid problems or side effects when using the medicine. They cover special situations like allergies, pregnancy, breastfeeding, drug interactions, medical conditions, operating heavy machinery, whether or not you can drink alcohol while taking the medicine, things like that. With Abilify, for instance, if taken during the last three months of pregnancy and just to be on the safe side, probably any time during pregnancy, it may cause problems for the baby and so should be avoided if possible. 
Abilify can also cause people to feel very tired, and so people should make sure they can tolerate the medication before driving. Some of the precautions for Advil include stomach issues, so anyone who is likely to experience anything wrong with their stomach or digestion may want to avoid Advil. So reading through the precaution section of your package insert is important to see how the precautions may apply to you. Next, let's look at side effects in the package insert. This section is definitely one of the most important sections, and it tells you about possible reactions you may experience while taking the medication. Some side effects are mild and go away by themselves, but others can be more serious and need medical attention. Knowing the side effects helps you know when to seek help. If we take a look at some of the side effects for Abilify, we'll notice it can cause neuroleptic malignant syndrome, tardive dyskinesia, and high blood pressure, while Advil may cause hepatitis, depression, and insomnia. By reading the side effects of the package insert, you'll be aware of most of the reactions that are possible while taking whatever medication you're prescribed. Now let's talk about drug interactions. This part in the package insert explains how the medicine might interact with other things you take, like other medicines, vitamins, or certain foods. Knowing about these interactions helps you prevent problems and ensures your medicine works well. For instance, with Abilify, if a doctor gives you a benzodiazepine to take with it, like Ativan, Xanax, or Lorazepam, they should keep a close eye on you for problems like being very sleepy or having low blood pressure when you stand up. This is because there can be a possible interaction between Abilify and benzodiazepines. This is why it's important to read the section on drug interactions to ensure you're using your medications safely. Another part of the package insert is called storage and handling. In this section, you'll find specific instructions on how to store your medicines so they can stay safe and effective. Different medications may have different storage requirements depending on their ingredients and how they're made. For example, many tablets and capsules should be kept in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight and heat. This helps protect the medicine from breaking down or losing its effectiveness. A common medicine like Advil, for instance, should be stored at room temperature away from heat and moisture. On the other hand, some medicines like certain types of insulin need to be kept in the refrigerator to maintain their effectiveness. Remember, it's essential to follow the storage and handling instructions for each medicine you take as this ensures they work properly and keeps you safe. The next part we'll discuss is the overdose section of a package insert. This section is important because it provides information on what to do if someone accidentally takes too much of the medicine. Overdosing on a medication can be dangerous, so knowing the signs and what to do in such situations is crucial. For example, if someone accidentally takes too much acetaminophen, the active ingredient in Tylenol, they might experience symptoms like nausea, vomiting, stomach pain, or even something more serious like liver damage. The package insert will usually tell you the signs of an overdose and what steps to take if you suspect one has occurred. Lastly, we have black box warnings. Some medications have black box warnings, which are the most serious warnings given by the Food and Drug Administration. These warnings alert patients and healthcare providers and pharmacists to serious or life-threatening risks associated with the medication. In the case of Abilify, there's a black box warning that states, warning, increased mortality in elderly patients with dementia-related psychosis and suicidal thoughts and behaviors with antidepressant drugs. This warning helps doctors and patients be aware of the significant risks when considering the use of Abilify in certain situations. So that pretty much sums it up for package inserts. They are invaluable. I can't tell you how much information I've learned about medicines by just reading the package inserts. And I get it, like when you unravel the package inserts, these things are long, they're small print, they're dry, they're clinical, the language is boring. You can look up stuff though that you don't understand and you can learn so much about your medication from the package insert. And when you talk to your doctor, your doctor is not gonna know everything that's in the package insert and more than likely they may forget some of the information that's contained in that package insert. So I can't tell you how important it is, especially if you're taking a powerful medication like an antipsychotic or any sort of psychotropic drug or any sort of blood pressure med to really read through that package insert. Hopefully you found this video helpful and the next time you see a package insert, don't throw it in the trash and take a little bit of time to read through it. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.